Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you that you are God and you are God all by yourself. We welcome the breath of God. We welcome the glory of God. We welcome the fire of the Holy Ghost. We welcome right now the angels of the Lord giving charge over us. As we come praying for America, we ask that you will hover over this broadcast and I cover us now with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good morning, warriors of God. I have a um, scripture and then we'll get into prayer and be done. First Corinthians chapter 15, starting at verse number 51. The scripture reads, Behold, I show you a mystery. <clears throat> we shall not all, we shall all, excuse me. Behold, I show you a mystery. There we go. We shall not all sleep. That's it. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, <clears throat> the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. Now, the devil is a liar. Father, I bind the hand of the enemy right now. And I canceled every assignment of any demonic spirits that have been directed in our direction. I send them back to their father, defeated. Their assignments are canceled. Their mission, my God, is unaccomplished because they were sent on an impossible mission. Because when they were on their way to conduct their mission, they were met with the host of heaven. They were met with the blood of Jesus and they realized that this is a place that they are not welcome. And so I thank you, Father God, because you said every tongue that rise up against us in judgment, you have given us the power and the authority to condemn them. And I condemn them now in Jesus name. I bless your holy name. Amen. Now, <laughs> so here's the thing. I'm reading this scripture, right? Behold, I show you a mystery. First of all, he's he's promising he will be showing us a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. We shall not all sleep. And there is a reason I was stumbling over we shall not all sleep. Because the church is asleep. <laughs> Jesus, help me. Holy Ghost, have your way. The church is asleep. But the good news is not all of us are sleeping. Come on, somebody. Not all of us are sleeping. The church has decided to fall asleep and stay asleep. The church have decided to back off. But this is the time, my God, to put in our boots, to put in our helmet, to carry the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, to hold up the shield of faith, to have our belt of truth tied around our waist, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus, because we are marching on the forward advance to take back that wish is rightfully ours for the kingdom and the glory of God. And so the church is asleep. This is why the spirit of the Lord led me this morning. He says, blow the shafar, sound the alarm, because we will hear the sound. He says, thank you, Holy Ghost. He says, the trump shall sound. The trump shall sound. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, all of the stuff that we are seeing is going to shift, shake suddenly and flip in Jesus' name. Because the trump will sound, let me read that part again. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, hmm, for the trumpet, 
the trumpet shall sound. There will be the last trump and the trumpet shall sound <clears throat> and the dead shall be raised. It is my fervent prayer that those who have made up their minds to be dead in the church, those who have made up their minds literally to be dead in this nation. Now, I'm not speaking about death as in giving up the, the, the last breath or anything like that. I'm speaking of that spiritual death because literally that is what has come upon the church and the church is enjoying their sleep. They think they've got some good sleep going on. They're just backing away. But let me tell you something, and this thing stayed with me. The time when good people sit back and do nothing, that is the time we allow the kingdom of darkness to come in and take over. And then at the end of the day, we want to complain. But let me tell you something. We were asleep before. Oh, but my God, we have been awakened. Our eyes are wide open. Our spirit, my God, is ready. Our discernment is sharp. The word of wisdom is increased. The word of knowledge is here. The working of miracles, the laying on of hands, the gift of tongues, the gift of faith, the gift of interpretation of tongues. Come on, Holy Ghost. The gift of healing. These things are now tangible. We have them at our fingertips. We are no longer sleeping. We are wide awake. We are fully aware of Satan devices and whatever the serpentile spirit is that is sneaking up across the nation, causing the church to fall asleep on its venoms. Jesus, help me. Hallelujah. And causing the leaders of this nation, my God, to continue to do what they've always done. The shaken warriors of God has come because the trump will sound and the trumpet shall be heard. The trumpet, just like I blew the shafar, the trumpet shall be heard all across America, starting with the church. Then the trumpet must be heard across the nations of the world, starting with the church. And this is when the dead in, oh my God, in the body of Christ will be raised up because people nowadays easily offended. Don't say a name or don't, don't, don't choose a side. Thank God we don't choose no side. We are on the winning side and the winning side is God's side. Ah, hallelujah. I received that. Yes, Lord, I received that. So yes, we're going to pray for America today. I feel the fire of the Lord. I feel this thing so strongly. There has been a lot of interruption, interference, a lot of these things, frustration, distractions. I mean, you name it, they have been sent. But I tell you right now, everything that was sent have been returned, undelivered. Oh my God, no one, no one, no one is home to receive the packet. Jesus, thank you. And we say we refuse, we refuse, we refuse to be manipulated. We refuse to be lied to. We refuse to be used by any system, by any leaders, or by any, my God in Jesus' name, any man or woman. It is time that we stay with the word because we must know the truth and the truth must set America free. You see, because he says, and the dead shall be raised incompatible, excuse me, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. That's something how it says incorruptible. The dead shall be raised incorruptible, which tells me those who are dead have been corrupted. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, thank you. Those who are dead in the church have been corrupted in their minds. Those who are dead in the nation have been corrupted. Hmm. It is up to the true church of Jesus Christ to raise the bar, sound the alarm, wake everybody up. And there are some people that have just chosen. They're just going to sleep. They're going to take their sleeping pill every day. There are eggs prescription for sleep. Take their sleeping pill and just stay asleep because they don't want to be bothered with nothing. And there are some of us that say, you know what? Thanks, but no thanks. No sleepy time tea here. No, no sleeping pills. We don't need any of that because we will watch. Woo, thank you, God. And we will pray. 
Habakkuk says, hmm, I will stand upon my high tower and I will watch and see what the end is going to be by the grace of God. So in this moment, in this twinkling of an eye, let's sound the trump, blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on God's holy mountain, because America, mm -hmm, my God, America must be saved. America must be saved. The Holy Spirit, he is here to help us get America saved. So come on, church. America must be saved. America must be saved. The Holy Spirit, he is here to help us get America saved. Jesus, thank you. Now, Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you, we praise you, we bless you. That this nation is known as a one nation under God. This nation says, in God we trust. Now, you said in your word, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding. You said in all your ways, acknowledge him, for he shall direct your path. Father, we need our path directed in this nation. Help us today. Help us beyond today. America must be saved. Our government must be saved. Our White House must be saved. Our Congress must be saved. Our Supreme Court must be saved. Our justice system must be saved. Our schools must be saved. The church most certainly must be saved. And Father, these things cannot get done except it is by your spirit. Because you said in your word, it is not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. So do it, Father, in the name of God, the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and the Holy Spirit, I pray right now. We need the paraclete. We need the paraclete. We need our helper. So come and help us, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Warriors of God, I've just been feeling just the presence of the Lord in these, these few days. It's, it's been more than I've ever experienced. And that's a sign, at least to me personally, that something is taking place. All these prophecies that have been spoken, these prophetic words that the Lord has given us through his scripture, through his spirit, by his spirit. We are in a season where these things are happening. And I, I just heard my spirit, they're going to start happening fast, fast, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. Just that fast, things are going to begin to unfold. This is why. We have to stand and haven't done all to stand, continue to stand. This nation, the USA, ah, the USA must be saved. The USA must be saved. The Holy Spirit, he is sent to help us get the USA saved because revival has to hit the land. It has to hit the land hard. Mm, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Jesus' name. Well, until the next time, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you and me. Shalom.